Hello and welcome to FSM News. I'm Dominique Peters. And I'm Janae Rivers. FSM is a product of Free Spirit Media, which is a nonprofit organization that empowers youth voice. In today's newscast, we're talking about teens that are getting down to business, literally. Teen entrepreneurs are no joke, and they are doing everything to get ahead in their careers. At the Gary Coleman Youth Center, teens are learning to make green by doing green. Here's the story. At the Gary Coleman Youth Center, many teens are taking on the responsibility of creating their own businesses. The Green Teens is an entrepreneur program that teaches the youth basic business management skills. The Green Teens can be either be apprentices or interns, and they learn about green careers, and part of that is learning about businesses, and how to work on entrepreneurial projects. It's a good program and it teaches you business skills and it also teaches you cooking skills. Know as much as you can about a business, know how much money you're putting into it and know how much money you're trying to get out of it. Not only do these teens gain self-confidence, they also surprise their program coordinator with determination. I'm amazed at how much they are interested in all owning their own businesses. Almost all of them want to go into business for themselves so they get a taste of it here and get to see how what that would be like and then they also get to meet some people who run businesses. The green teens aren't only about business, they use their own resources and the products that they sell. In addition, the program allows teens to broaden their horizons in the field of business. Some teens are so interested that they are thinking about taking it on as a career. I think it's a good idea. I will be going to school for business so I think it's great. I work in the garden. I do the harvest table and I do culinary program for green teens and I am a salesman. Not only are these teens learning about entrepreneurial skills, but they will also get a chance to meet current business owners as well. Reporting for FSM News, I'm Janae Rivers. Coming up, students at GCCP are getting the opportunity to get up close and personal with their dream job by talking to people who are successful in the field. So stay with us. Seniors, it's about that time. Prom, graduation, and college is right around the corner. Every senior who is planning to attend college should have filled out their federal student aid application, better known as FAFSA. Be sure to complete your financial application because time is running out. Please visit the website www.fafsa.ed.gov. The deadline for federal student aid is June 30th, 2011 at midnight. Make sure you have completed this application and you are ready to take the next step in your education. What is your dream job? Doctor? Teacher? Or maybe an astronaut? GCCP held a career day with over 60 amazing speakers. The speakers came to talk with the teens about careers that they just might be interested in. Here's the story. Gary Coma College Prep held their second annual career day where successful individuals came to speak with their students about their experiences that led them to their careers. Guy Comer, who has worked for months to make career day a success, came to the school to make sure that the students get the message of career day. Uh, really to uh, inspire the students and to uh, uh, open their eyes to the broad array of careers that are available. One of these speakers was the shuttle pilot, Colonel Fred Gregory. Colonel Fred Gregory explains to the students where his inspiration came from in his life. Many members of something, a group called the Tuskegee Airmen, uh, spent time at my house and talked about airplanes. And I didn't know who they were at that time, but I just knew that they liked airplanes. And I liked airplanes. While there were police officers, astronauts, and lawyers, there were also leaders of organizations that worked directly with the youth. I wanted to inspire them um, to fulfill their passion and follow what they hear and what they feel like they're here to do. Learn who they are so they can be aggressive and in pursuing success in life. Some of the students could understand the speakers on a more intimate level. I had a rough time growing up and he inspired me like to stay in school so I could become some in life. Even teachers understand the meaning of career day. You can't just learn things from like a book, from like being and sitting in a classroom. Career day inspired all those who attended. It made students realize where they were and where they are headed. 
you have to grow up, you have to get older, you have to go to college, graduate from college. It, it all depends on like what road you head down. For FSM News, I'm Rosie Martin. Do you have big hopes and dreams for your career and just can't wait? Coming up next in Teen Talk, we'll tell you how you can get started on becoming a successful entrepreneur. Hello and welcome to this week's Teen Talk. I'm Stanisha Adams. This week I was in search for teen business ideas. And if you're a teen and you want to start your own business, here's some ideas that help you out. I already own a business. It's called Creative Desire, specializing in Tracy Tasty Pastries for the community and for the teens. It would be a music business called CMT, Chicago Money Team, and it would be so we can help kids like display their talents and like do whatever they can and improve themselves. Even though you have some ideas, what if you still have some questions? Well, here's some teens with advice. You got to know people in order to you know start your own business because without Knowing anybody, how can you start your own stuff? Because you need to have resources. Thanks for watching this week's Teen Talk. Make sure to stay tuned for more FSM news. Back to you. Hey, Jenea, what are your future plans for your career? You know, I'm actually thinking about starting my own private practice, becoming a pediatrician. What about you? I'm thinking about becoming an author. <laughs> That's cool. Coming up next, reporter Sierra Newman talks about business colleges that may interest you, so stay with us. March Madness time, get ready, get your tickets, find the folk, yeah. For teens interested in studying business as a major in college, here's some of the top five lists of highly ranked business universities in the country according to U.S. Education. Number five on the list is New York University, Stern School of Business. This university has an entire school of business where 2,000 undergrads are enrolled. They offer an executive MBA program. Also, as of March 2010, U.S. News and World Report ranked Stern's undergrad program number five. Number four, University of Michigan, Ross School of Business. The school was recently renamed after alumni Stephen M. Ross donated $100 million, which was the biggest donation ever given to the university. This school is also home to Michigan Journal of Business, the first undergrad level academic journal in the field. Moving on to number three, the University of California Berkeley High School of Business. The average graduate GPA is 3.5. They have a wide variety of centers of research such as accounting, economics, real estate, nonprofit management, public administration, and the list goes on. Ranking number two, Massachusetts Institute of Technology Sloan School of Management. This is one of five schools at MIT. Their curriculum is focused on action learning, which requires the students to apply concepts learned in the classroom to real-world business settings. At the top of the list, number one, Warren School of the University of Pennsylvania. They were the world's first collegiate business school, founded in 1881. This school has the largest alumni network in the country. Some of their major areas of study are accounting, financing, marketing, management, etc. So if you're interested and want to study in business, start your planning now. Reporting for FSM News, I'm Sierra Newman. Well, there you have it, a show full of leaders. We'll be back next week with more news and teen talk. Until then, check out our Facebook page. Find us by searching FSM News. Thanks for watching. See, See ya. ya. Free Spirit Media partners with schools and organizations to provide education, access, and opportunity in media production to underserved urban youth. Through hands-on production of their own media content, participants build life skills in communication, critical and independent thinking, teamwork, and the use of technology. Believing that youth perspectives are a critical element of American culture, Free Spirit Media actively distributes student work to a range of audiences. Participants, dreams, and aspirations grow, and in turn, their voices and visions benefit our society. 